Good morning and welcome to Live in a Greenhouse on YouTube. If you're new here, this channel is about my journey to design, build, and then live in the first greenhouse enclosed tiny home in the United States. Last time, we finished a bunch of jobs to prepare for the final inspection. And after almost a year, final inspection day is finally here. Matt's been building on this island for about 20 years or so. So he's been through many final inspections, but this is his first final inspection with a relatively new building inspector who started a few months ago around the time of my framing inspection. Spoiler alert, it didn't go well. So stay tuned to find out how many hoops we had to jump through. Here's a quick look back at some of the fencing erected around the ponds and pool, which pretty much puts an end to any work in those areas until we pass the final inspection and the barricades can come down. Matt works on the fountain while waiting for the inspector to arrive. The weathered copper bowl comes from a drinking fountain my grandparents had in their yard when I was young. The inspector requested that I not film the inspection, so I filmed only his arrival. That should have been my first clue of how this was going to go. More on that later. After the inspector left, Matt finished hooking up the water supply to the fountain and it was ready for use. And Kara started to prime the exterior doors. The inspector called out that the concrete pads outside the bedroom and living room doors are not the proper width. We'd already brought the wood chips level with the concrete, but apparently it's required to be a firm surface. Matt was able to get crushed rock the next day to extend the pads outside the doors while Kara moved on to painting the door trim black. Here's a perfect example of both the plus and minus of the greenhouse enclosed house. Kara is priming the exterior doors in mid-October. The rainy season has started here in the Pacific Northwest, so if this were a standard house, she would not be able to paint today. But she didn't paint the doors last month because it was still too hot inside the greenhouse that the paint would have gone off too quickly. The inspector called out the fencing around the west pond and pool were not adequate, so plywood barricades will be added here also. Then it was time to bring the backhoe from the west side of my property to the east side of my property by driving it around the block. After everyone was gone for the evening, I finally got around to programming the smart outlets around the greenhouse. This was my first time connecting to this brand, so it took a bit of trial and error to get the right rope light plugged into the right outlet, and then to connect to and name each outlet. It also took some fiddling to fish the cords through the opening in these accordion boxes I've never used before. These outlets control the rope lights for the sitting area zone and the food garden zone. After the fiasco of the dark green interior trim, I was happy for the extra time to be sure I still wanted to go ahead with the color I'd selected for the exterior doors. And I did. This is now my fourth house with dark purple doors and I love them. Covering a strip of the pond between the wall and the bridge.
There are two modifications required to the handrail. To cut a groove to be able to grasp it more easily and add a return at the bottom from the handrail to the wall. We'll make those changes, but not in time for reinspection later today, so Matt blocks off the stairs. Once again, I didn't film the actual inspection. Now, since the stairs are blocked off, the ramp is the primary access. So this time the inspector actually pulled out his level to check it was within the permitted slope. It's half the allowed slope, which is apparent from just walking it. Matt moved on to notching the closet organizer insert so it would fit over the base molding and flush to the wall. After I installed the hanging rods, I could finally move the rest of my clothes from the trailer. And there you have it. A couple days later, Dave was able to get over to fix the stair rail so the barricades could be removed and all of the on-site permit issues were resolved. It took another week to finish review of additional paperwork, but the permit is officially closed. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And come back next time when the electricians make their final visit.